Hey guys, uh, this is Observer Canadian. I'm John. Uh, I want to talk to you today about uh, basically being prepared. Um, over the last little while I showed you some uh, disaster kits, 72 hour survival kits, uh, some basic survival kits. Um, they're all really good to have. I'm not saying buy every one of them. Um, take a look at a lot of the different companies that actually sell them and uh, see which one's best for you. Like you say, they're all really good, uh, the 72 hour kits. Um, I haven't found one I don't like. I found some that I would add some stuff to to make them better, but they're a great starting point. Um, the survival kits, if you're outdoors and that, you should probably always carry one. Uh, just never know what's gonna happen. Keep one in your car at all times either the survival kit or a 72 hour kit, keep in your car at all the times. Um, most people have space in their trunk, it's, it's not a big deal. But today I'm going a little different. It's still about being prepared and surviving, uh, especially on the west coast. Uh, you guys are getting hammered. This bucket is a two week food supply for one person. And I can see I'm going to move everything around, so I'm going to get this off the table. It's pretty heavy. Augustine Farms, they were nice enough to send me this. Um, I'm going to open it up here. Uh, this is the first time I've seen what's in here. Let's see if I can get it open. I did not bring a knife out with me. Oh, yes, I did. <laughs> Usually keep a knife with me. put away well like I said this is a uh, two-week emergency food supply now it looks like they got a whole lot of stuff in here basic packaging morning moo milk directions yield one serving remove oxygen absorbent discard add two tablespoons morning moo milk to one third cup warm water, stir to dissolve. Add two thirds cup cold water, stir, chill. So, one and a half cups for every two tablespoons of uh, powdered milk. All right, that stuff's always good to have. Um, we actually used to use that when we were when we were kids um, at our grandparents' cottage. Uh, we had a cottage with no hydro, no running water, so clearly no bathroom facilities. Uh, we used an outhouse. And we always had good stuff around. Uh, fettuccine Alfredo, 300 calories. Uh, banana chips, those are always good. Hearty vegetable chicken flavored soup mix, uh, 200 calories per serving. Serving size, one third of a cup. Dry, about one cup prepared. Now one cup doesn't seem like a lot, but there's eight servings in, in this bag. Uh, banana chips, they consider it eight servings. I don't know. I, I don't go by <laughs> serving size because I have a tendency a little more than a serving size. Uh, what is this? Fettuccine Alfredo. I believe that's four servings. Yeah, four servings. Here we 
here's a, this thing is packed. Holy oh, jeez. Uh, hearty vegetable chicken flavored soup. So there's two of those. Creamy potato soup mix. You know what? I don't mind the powdered uh, potato soup mix. There's, there's not much you can do it. Alright, so there's two of those. Each one of these is eight servings. So there's 16 servings right there. Maple brown sugar oatmeal. You know what? I'm going to try this. Obviously not right now, but uh, yeah, I can feel all the, uh, the brown sugar in that because no matter what you do, it always gets a little clump in there and you just break it up. Yeah, it breaks up no problem, so that it's still it's fresh. And I believe these, oh, this one's 10 servings. Um, I get those little packs of actually maple brown sugar. Um, Quaker oatmeal packs is what I get. And I usually have to make a few of those for one bowl. Uh, oh, there's two packages in here. So that's, uh, each one of these bags is 10 servings. So there's 20 servings. Spanish rice, staple. Rice is always a staple. Another Spanish rice, and those are about eight servings. So there's 16. Uh, creamy chicken flavored rice. All right, so this is the rice. That's a soup mix, and that's a soup mix. Cheese and broccoli rice. I love cheese and broccoli rice. Gonna get us up here. Here we go. Get it down. Creamy chicken flavored rice. And then we're getting down to the last two packs. Cheesy broccoli. I've got two of everything here except for the banana chips and this is not. This is more cheese. Cheesy broccoli rice. So there's three of those. So three of those is 24 servings. That's eight each. Uh, Spanish rice, you got two of those. There's 16 servings. Another 16 with the uh, creamy chicken flavored rice. Um, maple oatmeal, 20 servings. Now, uh, what do we got here? The, the vegetable chicken soup mix. Uh, 16 servings of that. Uh, your powdered milk. One pack of fettuccine alfredo, which is, I think, eight servings. No, four servings. The potato soup, 16 servings. Each one's eight. And your banana chips. So this will keep you alive. Um, I'm just, I'm gonna start putting this all back in here, guys. No, this is Augustine Farms. Okay, when you guys go and say you want a, you know, something like this, just in case, keep it in the house. Um, these are good for years too, uh, especially if you don't open the bucket. Uh, it probably lasts a little longer. Uh, I'm going to put that last. Uh, it probably lasts a little longer. I don't know how much longer it would last. But, you know, keep one of these in your basement. But there is a thing to look for, and it's called QSS. Uh, make sure if you buy some of this stuff, uh, it has a QSS standard on it. Uh, quality, uh, quality survival... Jeez, now I forget exactly what it stands for. But it's quality survival. Um, I'm going to have to look that up. In fact, I'll look it up while I am here because I don't see it on their packages, but I know this company does go by that. Uh, QSS standards. By the way, these have a 25 year shelf life. Uh, just add water. Yeah, don't fill your bucket full of water. You can when you need to. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look it up here. So you guys, give me a second here. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's see. Uh, here we go. I don't want that one. I want that one. So I want to give you the QSS standards. 
QSS survival standards. Why am I even looking it up? I've said it a couple times now. I'm, uh, I'm not very bright. Quality survival standards. So look for that. Uh, it's really important that you do uh, because some companies, and I'm not going to call anybody out right now, um, some companies, when they put their calorie count on these, uh, they add in the calories, the uh, what they call the hollow calories, um, calories for, from your sugars and that, which doesn't really mean a whole lot. Um, from playing hockey for years and that, you know, near the you know, the start of the third period when we played hockey, we would eat a chocolate bar. Uh, but it only gives you energy for about 15 minutes and then you crash. You have that sugar crash. Uh, you don't want that in your food. When you're trying to do something and you're trying to stay alive, you don't want that up and down, up and down. You want to try and keep a nice steady keel um, with your energy levels. Um, Simply for the fact it's peace of mind, um, if you crash, if you're taking a lot of sugar intake, it's not really helping you, you're burning it off faster than you're actually getting it. Uh, it makes you feel better, like if you eat a chocolate bar, go ahead, eat a chocolate bar, it'll make you feel better and that's really important if you're in a survival situation too, that you feel better um, about everything. But definitely guys, think of getting something like this. Uh, keep it in your house like you know this is two weeks supply for one person um, these guys are really good they're really nice they you know really good customer service I've talked to them a couple times and uh, they're, they're just a great company and uh, like I said you got to go with the QSS standards um, I keep saying QSS standards that's in the title quality survival standards um, you know Go visit their website. Uh, just type in Augustin Farms, and uh, you'll find them. It's you know comes up pretty quick. It's like the second one. The first one's I don't know what the first one website is, but you know we always get those when we're looking for stuff. Google's wonderful for actually giving you something first that you're not looking for uh, because they're paid to do it. But get something like that. Keep in your home especially on the west coast, make sure you've got water, um, you've got a way to collect water, food is really important, that's all you need for these is water, um, get a way that you can uh, boil water, like, you know, I've said before, if the power's out, you have no water, you can't go to your tap and turn it on and think you're going to get water if the power's out. Um, it, it's funny how many people don't understand that. They think, you know, you just turn the, the tap on and you've always got water. And, you know, it just doesn't work like that. You need power to have water. Um, so, something like this, um, depending on how many people in your family, you might want a couple of these, but definitely grab one of these. Uh, even if you grab one, and this is a one person, two week kit. So if there's four people in your family, figure it out. One of these will last you a couple of days uh, if you're trying to feed a family of four. So think about getting one of these guys. Keep it near a 72 hour kit. Keep it, you know, or just keep one of these, but you got to have a way to keep water. Um, we always keep water here. Um, I've got. You know, a couple of five gallon jugs downstairs full of water. Um, basement's nice and cool. Keep it in the dark and that. Um, and then just the bottled water we have. We always make sure I've got a full case at all times. Now, a full case is, you know, 24 bottles. It's not a lot of water in the grand scheme of things. You know, it's going to last, there's four of us in the house, it's going to last us a couple of days max. Um, but we have ways to collect water and things like that. Everybody should, especially Midwest and West Coast. Uh, 
quite frankly, up here in Ontario, we don't get the extreme weather that everybody else gets. Um, we get some nasty winter sometimes, but that's about as far as it goes. We could be trapped for a couple of days, um, depending on where you are. I know people that have been trapped on a highway for two days. Um, first time they weren't prepared. Uh, it took several hours for somebody to come and help them. Uh, and it wasn't the local government that came to help. It was uh, people in the area, farmers and that, guys who had tractors, like big tractors that could get through the snow. Uh, people with snowmobiles, they came out and helped everybody that was stuck on the highway. Uh, the second time she was prepared, they came to help, she didn't need the help, so it left resources for other people who really did need help. So it's important to be prepared, don't wait for the last minute, don't think you're going to have a natural disaster and you're going to run out and get help right away because it's not going to happen. Um, so think about getting some food, keep it in your house. Every government in North America now tells you, depending on which one it is, some tell you you need three days, some tell you you need a week, some tell you you need, should keep two weeks worth of food. Um, I think the standard should be three weeks. Um, every government office in North America should be telling you keep three weeks worth of food at all times in your home. You never know what's going to happen. And, uh, you know, if you're in the Midwest and you've got a place underground to get away from the tornadoes and that, because I know a lot of houses do, and I, I've never understood why you guys don't have basements in almost every house. Up here in Canada, pretty much every house has a basement in it. Um, you're hard-pressed to find a house that doesn't have a basement, and we don't get near the storms you guys get. Keep one of these in there. You know, it's better to be to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Let's face it, it's, it's really important. Um, safety for your families and that. So take a look at these, look these guys up, Augustin Farms. Uh, look for QSS when you go to purchase your food. Uh, it's really important. Anywho, I'm finished preaching. Sorry guys, this is uh, Observer Canadian. I'm John, you guys have a great day. Don't forget to hit the like button and uh, Follow us and you'll get more 